Alright guys, a little bit of an update. I've been working on putting together a small marks layout and picked up another collection. This will uh, kind of replace my other layout for mark stuff so I'll have a place to use it instead of on the big one. More of Mark's themed. All the accessories are Mark's and all the track. Every piece of it is. I still need uh, a couple pieces of five tie track. I like using that because it pushes uh, the loops kind of apart a little bit. Instead of using cutting half straights and it's more uh, original, I guess. Instead of making stuff, still need another switch here. Probably get that pretty easily. Need a uh, that exact transformer. There you go. That'll be pretty easy. Those are common things. This will be on the ground. I'll use caster wheels for it under uh, each corner. It's using the wood is just scrap from my other layout, so it's not really going to cost much at all. And then onto this. Got one set here. I don't know numbers to all the sets, but that transformer will go with that, and then these two go with the other two sets here. Finally got that came Pacific. Looking for this one for a little while. And this is the better side. I got to replace the front on that one. I got a couple 495s. I'll steal one of them. The shells for them and. One of them will give up its front. And I gotta find another sideboard here. I don't know what happened to it. I think it got wet somehow and this stored wrong. The tenders kinda got a similar problem with it. The paint bowled on it from being wet. And then of course all the other cars are nice, but one uh, hard to find car in it. The whole side dressed it off. So, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. I'll probably steal the parts off this. Well, the rest of the cars I find the caboose. It should clean up. It's got some stuff on it. I don't know what it is. We got these would have gone with uh, 21s, big Santa Fe diesels. Random caboose in there. This is actually a car that I need for my set. Mine has the wrong observation with it. and I don't know how somebody managed to get the window strips out of that without taking it apart. Unless it never came with them, I'm not sure. And the M10,000 set. The guy who bought it from said it was his father's stuff. The M10,000 set. And then he added on to it. He collected antique tools and just picked up trains whenever he saw them all the Mark's trains and so I got the motor up on the bench but it's missing the back where the truck would be I'll track down another one of them but this whole floor section is missing it shouldn't be too hard of a part to find the sideboard's going to be hard to find for the 2000. This is just a little set here. Plastic 400 locomotive. All that stuff just needs to be cleaned and it'll look nice. This is a, a later set here. I don't know why they mixed uh, plastic tenders in with tin free cars, but it's got uh, two good free cars in there. 
Kind of an uh, uncommon car you don't see too often here. And then uh, this one, usually these are red, and then the brown one's a little bit harder to find, and the blue one's the hardest. Only flaw there, the coupler's broken. Besides that, that's pretty decent. And then these, this pair of switches here is kind of interesting. The rails are black, which would be right before World War II. I don't know what those would go with technically. I'm pretty sure that these and all this stuff, the accessories, go with this set. And it would have been sold at Montgomery Wards. And uh, I think the name was like Wards Famous Switch Train, something like that. Although I'm not sure because it had a special crane and it had a white roof on it. That one's black. It's kind of odd that all the right stuff for it's in there. That's why it wouldn't be there. It's that. Here's a motor out of the M10,000. I think this one's an, an early one. I don't know if they were all like this. I'd imagine not. They got manual reverse switch on it. This needs to be cleaned. Don't know if it works. I haven't even bothered testing it before I clean it. Mm -hmm. I know the 3000 doesn't work. The inside of the motor, there's grease in it. I don't know why someone would put grease in it. You're not supposed to. And the uh, 400 works great. Of course I'll clean it though. Cause it'll probably work even better. So yeah, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed.